All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 30 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. Ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate You have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. When you see a guy in a striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off the street. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan. Exactly where you want it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunk. Big kick lands. 
And just misses with that big right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big leg kick land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big power from Brooks Lance. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with that left hook. And they separate. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And he landed the right hand there. Collar tie. Just over three minutes to go. Dig and kick. Hands high, hands high. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. What a damaging punch. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. And mixing it up beautifully. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. And he's got him hurt here. Done. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Single collar tie now. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh! He's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. He hurt him. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, so he's got the body locked down here. How about those five minutes? All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Good punch. Whoa! 
What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish the fight. And now he lands a combination. comes the separation now. Oh, nice high kick. This big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh! Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At 53 seconds of round number two, playing the winner by knockout. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.